In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the door lock to the passenger side door so you can uh, lock and unlock the doors. You will need the driver side door handle and the passenger side handle as well to do this mod. I suggest going to a junkyard to uh, pick up these two parts because uh, you definitely don't want to mess up the handle that's currently in your door handle now. So at least um, you'll have a spare. But um, this is what you will need. Okay, everyone, with the driver's side lock, what you want to do is take this blade and you want to cut this and go straight down and do the same thing on the opposite side. This little tab, just put the blade there and just go straight down. Alright guys, next step you want to do is take the same blade and you want to cut the base that's molded to the handle and you want to slice that as flat, flat as possible all the way around. Your driver's side door handle should now look like this. It should be flat all the way around. Okay, with this next step, what you want to do is take the driver's side passenger side you want to lock them in position same thing on that side and what you want to do is take a pencil and you want to trace this hole now with that hole traced you will need a dremel to cut out this hole Okay guys, now I had to skip a few steps because this was already done. So after you, you cut the hole out with the Dremel, what you want to do is take that base that you cut from the driver's side door handle. And what you want to do, what I did to this one was melted the plastic onto the passenger side door handle. And then I've used um, a plastic bond uh, to apply, they say apply to it um, so it can lock it in place. So, I mean, the plastic, melting the plastic, melting the, uh, the base to the handle work, but just for, sec for extra um, security, I added uh, some plastic bond. You could pick that up from like Pep Boys or all those on. And when you're done, this is how it will look. You guys how to do this. So there's two screws um, inside of the passenger side door handle. You would take this mini screwdriver or flathead and uh, you prod up the, um, the cap off to access these two screws. Okay, next what you wanna do is pull the handle, let it hang. What you wanna do first is unclip this right here. This little plastic piece that's uh, connect to the door handle. You need that off first before you take the door panel off. I just took the mini screwdriver and pushed it, pushed it outwards to release it. Now you take this door panel uh, tool, stick it up here, and this comes right off. Alright, this little cover needs to come off too. Ouch. This speaker cover needs to come off. So with that same mini screwdriver, um, just find a spot, pry it open. And just pull it off like so. Next, you want to take these three screws. Yeah, I know I need a new speaker, so whatever. Uh, take these three Phillips screws out and for the speaker to come out. Now you want to disconnect the clip for the speaker. Forgot about this screw here. It's a cover right here with a Phillips screw. Pop this cover out or flip it open. Take the uh, Phillips screw out. Okay, now your door panel is ready to come off. 
So what you want to do is grab the door panel from here and pull towards you. And then work your way around. Now the door panel is loose and then just pull up. The only thing that's left is this wire right here that's connected to the window switch. This just needs to come off. So there's a tab underneath. Just push it in and pull the connector off. Now your door panel is off. All right, next the glove box needs to um, be released. So there's a tab on this side and one on the opposite side that you would need a flathead screwdriver to pry open. This plastic piece will come out, same with this side, basically dropping the glove box. The, the glove box is now dropped. These are the two pieces. So just sit them to the side. Basically, you need this access you need to access this area so you can fish the wire through. All right, next step. Um, this is about eight and a half feet of 18 gauge wire. Um, I have three different colors uh, to match up to the uh, to the switch because there's there's three wires on the actual lock switch that you would need. So uh, this is the wire that I will be fishing to the locking. Uh, connector which is located on the driver side so this right here is my little uh, fishing tool so what I did was took the end of the wire wrap some electrical tape around it um, because now what you want to do is fish the wire through this hole the speaker hole and you want to go through this tube uh, whatever it's called and it will come out on this side all right, now I have my wire fished. Now you can slowly pull out the uh, your hanger. Make sure when you're doing this process that you um, wrap it up real good with electrical tape because you don't want to puncture any wires. Um, it is kind of somewhat tight back there. So just make sure um, this piece, this heater, whatever this is called, where the filter goes, is going to cut your hand all up. So uh, just giving you some warning there. But um, other than that, you have the idea to fish the wire through. Okay, so next what I did was I ran the wire through this hole. Well, excuse me. Uh, you want to come up in, on the inside and you want to come out. And basically, you want to follow the, the loom with the rest of the wires that's coming out of this, this hole right here. This hole right here. So... Um, I got it marked to this point of where the, um, the door lock actually gets screwed into. So now what you want to do is just zip tie um, to the existing wires. Um, and you also want to zip tie here because you do definitely want to clear um, the window. You don't want the window um, pinching it when you're rolling it up and down. So I have a zip tie on the inside, um, locking it in place with this wire here that's on the inside that you can't see. I have another one that's zip tied here, and I zip tied it to uh, this one right here. Um, I mean, you can pretty much zip tie wherever you want, but I mean, this works for me. Um, the wire's not going anywhere, but um, on to the next step. Okay, everyone, this connector right here is located on the driver's side kick panel. Um, right now, my phone is looking through one of the holes where the cruise control or if you have the fog light option. Um, so I took that out to um, so you can um, see this actual connector. Now, this connector right here has the three wires that you need to tap in so you're able to hook up the... Um, the drop the passenger side lock so you can you know unlock them and lock of course so um, that clear tab needs to come out and then that connector needs to be um, basically unplug that connector okay everyone scratch that last step um, this connector actually pulls down 
Um, so the tab is here and then just pull it down. So leave the connector, leave that, that clear plastic um, in the hole. And then what you wanna do is look for this release button in the middle and then just pull it down. This right here is the connector that's going into the door lock handle. Um, so you're, you wanna look for these three wires um, and this is what you're gonna tap whatever color wires you have running from this over to the connector on the driver's side um, kick panel. So make sure you match each wire um, up so you know, you're not crossing anything and messing something up. Um, so look for white wire with the green strip, a solid black wire, and then another white wire with a blue strip I'm trying to focus here so tap those three wires that you just fish over to the driver's side and uh match those wires up now it's pretty hard to tell i couldn't get my phone in there but all the connections are made all the plugs are uh put back where they are um just make sure everything is all tight and put back together and zip tied um now it's time to go to the other side and hook up the switch and see if it works. All right, so now I got it hooked up. Everything's plugged in, so uh, let's see if it works. Now we got power locks on the passenger side. So I uh, hope this video helped you guys out. And um, just make sure you put everything back together. Once again, check and make sure everything is uh, taped up and zip tied and um, other than that I'm out.